Hi Scorpio, welcome to your singles reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For those of you that are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and share. That way you continue to get notifications of all the readings that I post. But I can also touch in on your energy and bring more, um, more personal messages to you guys through spirit that only you will resonate with. For those of you that have inquired about a personal reading, um, head over to my Etsy shop. The bit link will be below. Because of my availability this week, they're going very quickly. There are still a few to, um, you know, to grab and take up on, and I will get it to you within um, the next two days. All right, but this is for Scorpio singles, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirit. There's three here. Express love. Through gifts, a small token of love can convey great appreciation. A card of 19, which is 10. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. I love that picture. That's a card of eight. True love. The love of a lifetime. I'm so happy I took these. Spirit is basically telling you it's coming. All right. Let's see. I still wanted to pull these cards. But Spirit had three out for you. So it's like, be patient. This true love is coming your way. They might even offer you a small gift. There's a 3 here, 17, which is 8, 19, which is 10. Just looking for synchronicities. All right, Spirit. Messages for Scorpio singles. Thank you. 8. Divine potential. Fulfill your destiny. Be all that you can be. So Spirit is saying during this time of you being single, do you. Fulfill the dreams that you have all on your own. See all that glowing light when you realize that you make your own happiness? Your time is coming. It's when you completely focus on you and you're shining. That's when it comes towards you when you least expect it. 29. Mahatma energy. Build your light body. Accelerate your ascension. Exactly what I said. Work on you so that you shine from inside. People see you glow and be your best self. They see it. They're attracted to it. That's when your person comes towards you. Pay attention to rainbows in the near future. In the spring where I'm at, usually there's bad storms in April. You know, my mom used to say April flower. My mom says, not used to, says April showers brings me flowers. So... During one of those storms, you might look up and see a rainbow. Spirit's letting you know this resonates for you. There's two eights that are here. So pay attention to repeating eights. All right, Spirit. Message for Scorpio. Sing with some moon rising in Venus. Okay. Thank you. Regeneration. Look at all this sparkling light. See, like I said, when you do you, that's when you start to shine. And you realize, like, you can do anything on your own. And then you realize that the person coming towards you, because you are your best self, that they better come and add to your life, but never take away. You will have less. Like, there will be less that you're willing to tolerate. Because you already create your own happiness. If that makes sense. I tried to deliver it the best way Spirit was giving it to me. Okay. Let me turn this over. I don't know why that face up. 
Spirit, can we please have a card for Scorpio's energy in the present moment? Scorpio's energy in the present moment. Temperance. You're being patient. You're healing. Like I said, you're like focused on um, balance and, you know, the equal, just the constant flow of energy. Everything being light, everything being like in just in motion, but happy, harmonious. It's like you're allowing the light sh to shine in. Things are turning in your favor, though. Look at that. There's going to be a victory on something. This person coming towards you, you might have had past lives with, for those of you who believe in it. What is the energy of the person coming towards Scorpio? They also are, are in the energy of wanting something that's an equal give and take. Looking for the person that they can support and give communication to. They might already be in your energy. They might be very close to you, willing to, I mean, getting ready to communicate with you. They're coming in mentally strong, not willing to play games on me at all. They want an equal give and take. They want to have, offer support to their person. What is the current situation? There is a transformation of the two of you. Both of you are transforming to your better, your best selves. Things are coming to light within both of you. The two of you might be medita um, manifesting each other from a distance. You might already be in each other's energy and you feel it. They're coming to you very quick, like very soon. What is the advice for Scorpio? It's like your advice right now is to shower the people that are around you, your deepest connections with love. It will bring it will bring balance into your life. Focus on the people that are around you, your connections with your friends, the people that are so close to you and have your best interests at heart. Focus on those connections. It balances you. It makes you ready for when this person enters your life. There is going to be a brand new offering, a brand new abundant offering. For some of you, you might be in a same-sex relationship. That might be what you resonate with. So that might be um, a sign for some of you, a message for some of you. Even if, you, you know, you might have children. But there is an abundant message coming in. What is the overall outcome for Scorpio and the person coming towards them? The overall outcome is the two of you are going to be very protective and cautious of yourselves. You're going to move um, very slow in this connection. But once you realize that you can trust this person, it's going to take off. When you realize that they're your partner for the long haul, it's going to take off. Both of you have done some soul searching. And you know what you want. Spirit, anything else for Scorpio? Overall outcome for them and their person? Yeah, look at this. An ending to this energy. An ending to always worrying about when it's going to be your time. An ending to this energy. It's like you're, you're just, yeah, I really feel like the two of you are manifesting each other. You're making a plan, a strategy, putting out to the universe what you want. You might even be touching in on their energy when you sleep on the 5D.
Alright, Spirit, please bring clarity to these cards. Please clarify Scorpio's energies, temperance. It's like you, you might have fire in your chart. You have so much passion and so much desire that you want to give to somebody. I really feel like you may have other options around you. People that are um, noticing you, reaching out to you. But it's like it doesn't spark anything within you. It, it's like you're bored with it. Like there's nothing of quality being offered to you or, you know, you're just not feeling it. And you're just waiting for your person to come. You're having patience with it. Like I said, with this death card here, twice, there is a regeneration, a transformation of the situation of you and your person. Please put Judgment and the Fool. I didn't finish asking the question. Let's see if they come out again. Spirit, please clarify the Six of Pentacles. Your person is definitely going through a regeneration, a transformation. Why is the death card here twice, Spirit? Please help me understand why the death card is here twice. Yep. There is that connection, that regeneration. Things are starting to grow. This is coming together. They might have just left someone or ended something with someone. They might have actually received money for from it. If it was a divorce, they might have received some money from it. But there is like that, that connection's coming in. Yeah, the two of you are manifesting one another, manifesting this balance in your life. Could be a Libra. Please clear. This popped out all on its own. You're going to support each other. The communication is coming in. Please clarify the Two of Cups. All right, Spirit. All right, let's see. Wow. Yep. When this connection happens, your the advice is you might be making the leap of faith towards them, Scorpio. You might feel this com communication immediately. The Two of Cups, the lovers... It's going to be like something that you've never felt before. And you're going to take that leap of faith towards them and offer that connection. It's like you are going to feel it and then you are just going to move on. It's going to feel like a tower moment. It's like once you come in contact with this person, it's like you slam your sword down into the ice and you're just like, no, that's my person. I'm not going to let this get away. It's like your heart and your mind are going to be on point with the same message that you're for them. They're for you. Please clarify the overall outcome. Spirit has a lot to offer here. 10 and 10. There is definitely an ending to the stagnation of being single in both your lives. Pay attention to 1010. 10. But it's you both are moving towards one another, and there's going to be that brand new beginning. Pay attention to 1010. 10. Actually, there's three tens here. You're going to go with your intuition. You're going to have patience. You are going to feel this spiritual bond with this person. And you're just going to know immediately that it's your person. It's going to be that equal, fluid energy. It's going to be easy. There's going to be no it's limited effort, I should say. Limited effort. The two of you are going to have to add. It's just going to feel like it's the easiest thing that you've ever had to do. Spirit, message for my Scorpio singles.
positive change. Dare to be different. When you are criticized, remember that you will never please everyone. Many brilliant and gifted individuals were not fully appreciated or understood in their own lifetime. Yet it is, it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. Yet it is often they who have sown the seeds of change. There was a transformation that needed to happen with this regeneration and the death card twice. There were cycles that needed to end for both of you that no longer resonated with you. Uh, maybe you were just meeting the same type person. It, it was like a dead end each time. Both of you have taken the time. You have been patient. And you both have like leveled up on both your ends. So that when this comes together, it comes together solid and supportive. All right, Scorpio. So this is your singles reading. Like I said, if you are new, subscribe, like, and share. And that way you'll continue to get notifications. Um, you'll just be a part of my channel. And for those of you that are interested, like I said, head over to my Etsy shop. There's still some readings available. Love and light, guys. Stay safe. I'll be back for many more readings.